in she's water to uh, to bath and i tell her also to clean his house and his environment is it uh, he or her you speak french to she, english she, she, she. she okay no problem carry on but there are two before what i don't know mr cash is she and she's husband uh, together have the same but first oh, it's the husband and wife who have the aids no before before the wife tell me she have mm -hmm. so i make uh, the process for the wife but the wife give his husband no so the both mm -hmm. take it i don't know so i have okay. no needs when it is if uh, it is effective she is happy and call me that my my husband also have and what you give me i give also to my husband and uh, our level is now reduced so i i say what i have done okay carry on so you give them to eat and drink and bath and wash, wash his clothes only uh, co2 guns first and yeah, also the clean the house of uh, the house with this this is the first process okay and uh, one week one week half uh, she's have started like uh, going down See, what she, do you mean by going she, down uh, she feel uh, tired on all body she and she's husband and when she uh, urinates she's a uh, urine have changed the color to what color uh yellow something yellow and uh, there is small small blood inside okay let me so, explain to add to this knowledge we already have seen this for many years in the health application of the technology the reason uh, I always say to the volunteers, and the worse you feel in the first two or three weeks, the better news is for me. Those who have been with me with medical application, they know this phrase I use quite often. The reason you feel very low, the reason you feel very much tired is logical. Because you have got rid of what has been taking energy from you, and the body is rebuilding. Rebuilding takes energy. It's not one cell. It's millions of cells. And this process, once you start taking the GANS, once you start taking uh, GANS liquid as um, drinking or whatever, you have to realize tiredness is inevitable. Uh, fatigue is inevitable. Because now the energy which was getting used for the um, whatever disease was, now is recuperating to bring cells and bring the body energy to a level. To bring it, it means it needs to go and go into the reserve or use a lot of it. So, if you use the um, GANS liquid and you see these kind of fatigues and exhaustion, this is the best news you can ever receive. It means the system is working. And now your body has to start rebuilding, and rebuilding brings tiredness. I explain this very clearly to my uh, volunteers, always have. You see the babies when they are born, they sleep a lot. When they are one week, two weeks, few months old, they are always asleep. Because when you are asleep, you don't use that much energy, but the energy goes for developing growing, replacing, building. You become in that stage of the childhood, which means the body now is replenishing the old with the new, with the correct uh, balance. So, if you see any kind of these kind of um, changes, I just explained to you about Caroline. When you take this, when the body goes into kind of fatigue, not wanting to move, is now the damages, even doesn't matter with the virus or anything else, is the body is rebuilding. And building needs energy. 
I advise a lot of people to take like CH3 as a supplement to it, but preferably not, because the energy supplied would be dispersed across the body, but the body learns not much from it because it's the availability of it. It's the best to allow the fatigue cycle to go through. It'll sometime last a month, two or three days, a few weeks. But especially in women, especially in women, when you complete, we have a feedback. When you see this cycle finishes, if you have a problem with your menstruation, all goes back to balance. If you have a problem with um, mm, repeat though, with, with your sexual behavior in men, it changes. We have seen in the recent past changes in a lot of um, applications of this technology. People with different kind of uh, diseases are reporting just walking away from it. So when you see this fatigue, this is a gift of God, this is a gift given to you. This is the process when your body takes over to replenish, to regrow new cells. It's not a bad news, it's the best news you could receive, but because you don't know, you take it there is something wrong. You feel exhausted, you feel you don't want to do anything, you feel, uh, I've lost my energy, I took this to recover, but I've got worse. But this recovery time is rebuilding new, and this is what happens. And now you see Paul is speaking about it, I've seen this hundreds of times. And I always say, you just got to go through it, it means the body is not ready for it. It's still redeveloping, it's replacing. So, when you get the process of exhaustion, when you start taking these, even from virus infection, it means the body is replenishing what has been damaged, or what it needs to be reprocessed. You tend to sleep a lot. It's the best time of reprocessing physical part. So, what Paul says, they, they feel exhausted, they don't, they feel fatigued. This is a gift as part of the package. You have to go through it because now the body is replacing all the damaged cells, reconnecting all the damaged cells shutting down what was established, which was doing the wrong connections, into the right order. Some of it might see some changes for a short time, but it just balances itself to normality. Carry on, Paul. Thank you, Mr. Keshe. So, after applying CO2 liquid plasma, one week and a half, she feed this, I say, no, continuous, because I know the powerful of this. I have tested it on uh, my family. We didn't get a disease, but we tested this and we know uh, the powerful of this, uh, uh, this thing. So go, go on. So she continues. When she st uh, one fatigue and other things stop, she start going well. And one week after, they are very, very, very uh, good. They are, they are F is not effective. And she called me and said, the things have changed for us. We didn't feel anything like before. It's like what all has gone. And at this time, I decided not to uh, increase. So I take zinc oxide plasma liquid, I take CH3 plasma liquid, and uh, CO plasma liquid, and I mix it with uh, uh, CO2 plasma liquid, and I go, I mix it like the first time in all things that they are using. It meaning that they are water to drink, they are water for cooking, they are water to wash clothes and house. And after this small time, when she go to the doctor, uh, doctor stays and say, what product you, see, you, you take? 
she she send me instantly message. I say say you don't you don't use any medicine because I know their mentalities. And doctor say this is not possible because I know you are level before. I should go in your home and see if really you don't see you don't take any medicine. And doctor carry she and she's husband and go to the house. When she goes, she see only water, water, water. And then she is, uh, uh, he is convinced that they don't use nothing. So this is the process that we have used. And doctor said that the way you are going, you are near to finish with the edge. If you continue like this, I think in two weeks, you will finish with the head. This is what doctor have said to her. And the doctor have give her a meeting or a, this is not a, what I can say meeting. She said to come in control after one month and he will see what happened. But uh, when we, we see the results, like she report to me, like I go, I visit her, there is nothing like before you come, they, they are sleeping, crying, no, all is finished. So this is what we have uh, done about uh, ed patients. So now I have a lot of, I have more than six, I am a replicate the same thing and uh, I am seeing small, small, the same result like fatigue and other, uh, and other and uh, I continue to replicate the system and I will let you know, Mr. Kesh. So when you return home, can you let us know what's happening? Yeah, I will do this, sure, Mr. Kesh. Thank you very much. I thanks for the information. Um, so if we understand uh, Paul correctly, he uses the CO2 for the everything, every application, and then uh, he changes after a while when the emotional science stabilizes with what he told us. And would you like to repeat it again that we all understand what you use after the CO2 and the emotional part completed, Paul? Yeah, for my family or for uh, the business? Age. age is the biggest problem in Africa. Is yeah most horrendous thing and it costs nothing if yeah. you are people uh, we we work within ghana atomic and uh, we are in the process of promoting this in africa uh, in in the european countries the life exists uh, what do you call it is extended by heavy use of different medication uh, in a common collaboration between Keshe foundation and italian health groups we are promoting the application of this for AIDS and HIV in Europe. And we will test it in the next few weeks, hopefully. So can you explain to us what you added after that it can be correct on the blueprint, please? After CO2? Yes. After CO2, I take a zinc oxide because mm -hmm. uh, when you see, you see her, you know that she needs to repair the tissue and I take a CO uh, to allow her to connect his uh, emotion to other. And I take CH3 because you teach us CH3 is uh, working with uh, hemoglobin. So I, I was thinking that it will, she will be, she will need uh, blood. So I take it and I say to myself that the virus is not finished in his body. So that is why I have add CO2 uh, plasma liquid uh, on his uh, uh, on his medicine. So I put these four plasma guns liquids together. That is and copper oxide. What I want to mention here. Let me, yes, carry yeah. on. She is not drinking any water in his, uh, since we start the process, uh, if it is not what I have prepared with the guns, uh, the plasma uh, liquid. 
same so for she only drinks everything you give her and she doesn't drink anything else yeah she didn't drink anything else okay so you use zinc oxide yeah you use copper oxide you yeah. use h3 and you use co2 yeah but this is after cleaning the body okay. first can I, I use can i can i just before we go further in the CO2 was 100% CO2. In the, what's the ratio you use when you use the copper oxide, zinc, and uh, CH3 and CO2 in, for the liquid uh, plasma? What ratio? Yeah. Is it equal amount or different amounts? Yeah, it's equal amount. Equal amount, okay. Yeah. So we say a quarter of each. Yeah. Out of a liter, a quarter. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Carry on. Thank you. Thank you. So, I was saying that the first, I was thinking according to what I have understand on the property of uh, CO2, that we need to clean the body who is uh, full with the virus and uh, everything. So first, I use only for one week and a half I can say two weeks, only CO2 plasma liquid. This is the first time. And when everything is stable for her, she don't feel nothing, uh, 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 she don't feel nothing, so I decide to implement the system. So at this time, I mix all these four guns and I give her. Okay, there is somebody in the background. I don't know if he's present with us. Um, the passing of what you call like um, blood in urine, when did that happen? Please? You said they could see the change of color or passing blood in the urine. Yeah. When yeah. did that happen? Yeah. When did that happen? Uh, please, I don't get you a question. You said that yeah. the lady, they could see the change of the color. Yeah. And like blood in the urine. When did yeah. that happen? When did that take place? In the first days? Yeah, it is in the first step. When she used only uh, CO2 plasma liquid, she For feel all this. Yeah. And she feels also long? fatigue and all things. For how long did they see the change in urine? Uh, the urine is uh, uh, the second day. She's, uh, the, she starts the process. She has seen the, the changing. The first day, she, she don't feel this. But the second day, until uh, uh, the fatigue and all that thing comes, she, she see it. And after she stop, the urine become more clear. So the body cleans out what is the what is not needed, and that's the only process it can do through urine or um, other ways that we do uh, clean our body. Can you tell me something? Did they change or did they feel any kind of fever? Yeah, she feel fever. She feel uh, tired on the, all she's body. When? On the first time. In the first week feel, and a half? Yeah, she feel it. She feel it after one week. She feel fatigue and uh, tired and uh, all that thing, fever after one week. But the urine have start changing after the second day. Study, it means second day. She start to see the color of urine change, but she feel fever, tired, and uh, all that thing after one week. Thank you very much, Paul. Is there anything else you can add to this? So I want to know if you can use these uh, calcium guns for uh, health yes. system. Yes, it's one of the most natural ways. Thank you. You can do it. Um, if you want to match the, um, the, your own structure, 
Um, yeah. You can use, if you have access to it, or you ever kept it, or your mother kept it, is your own tooth. Yeah. Okay. Thank if you. people have their own tooth, and you're building a system specifically for bone diseases and anything else, the best calcium is the calcium which matches you. A lot of families, especially traditionally, keep their first tooth or the teeth of the children. And we don't with all our children. We keep it. Uh, it's, it's part of the growth of the family. If you have access or you had your pool, tooth, tooth pulled and you still have it, going through the same process gives you the matching way to add or to connect to your own structure. Uh, this is a, one of the ways to do it if you have access to it because it's made of you and carries your fingerprint. Uh, you can go through the same process. You can use um, lemon or you can use uh, a different way to change the composition of it like by, um, you can put in like a Coca-Cola to melt it and then add it to the caustic and make a gans of it. But don't forget, the easier way, <clears throat> as we know, when you have amino acid connection materials, solids to change into amino acid uh, combination is very difficult. But the same process as you did with the orange, with a cup, you can transfer anything with the amino acid without actually changing its characteristics by transferring through the connection of the amino acid. I repeat it for those of you who have joined us recently in the teaching. Um, this is the process which uh, what we did was we put an orange, for example, on the top. We put a gans of CO2, a gans of amino acid which came from the CO2 box, the gans of copper oxide, and a gans of CH3 on the other side. And you can add the gans of zinc oxide on there. Split, you put five of them around the cup. You fill it up with the water. Now, in this water, you create a combination of the amino acid. And even you have an orange. Orange is based on any fruit has an amino acid connection. So you transfer as a common denominator the property of the orange. You can do the same thing with your tooth because it's amino acid based. That's why it takes the shape and is part of your body. You can do, for example, for bone transplant. You don't need to do the open surgery to take bone transplant from one person to another one to matches or not. You put the joint, the upper part of the knee, on top of the liquid. You repeat the same process with the same containers. You carry the information of the bone, what it needs, into the water. And by giving it as a water to the ch to anybody who needs a bone transplant, the same way. This is the extension to the knowledge. People who need kidneys, people who need organ transplant. If you find a matching organ, you don't need to go in and cut the organ anymore to give it. You take the beauty of it, the information of it. You can lie the person with, let's say, with a kidney, which is a perfect kidney, Repeat the same process. In the future, I'll teach you how to do it with the GAN systems. And then you transfer the information, what is the working of the kidney, into the cup. You replace it back on the person who needs it, or you make them to drink from it on a continuous basis. The replacement will be done. The process of the regeneration will be done. The effectiveness will be done. You don't need to wait for somebody to die and whatever waiting for an organ anymore. The organ transplant, if people understand how to use this, because of its nano copper, or what do you call nano amino acid transfer of energy to a cup, is finished. I explained this to doctors very recently. You do the same thing. This time the orange is the kidney. Perfect working kidney. You don't need to worry about the DNA fit or not. A father can give it to her son. A mother can give it to the child. 
if you have a perfect core, you do the same transformation. And all you need, you need to drink it, or place it on the damaged kidney, back on the front. It will transform, it takes time. No man should die ever of anything of the physicality anymore. The knowledge is with us, is applying it which counts. You have face deformity. You have problem with your fingers. You have problems with your all sorts of things. Find a parallel, which is perfect, and copy it back exactly to the orange. The same process. You have people on dialysis machine. Find the child, a brother, a sister, which has the same DNA. Just allow the cup, let just make a cup with ganses on it, as you've done with the orange, and transfer the information across. Make a half a liter here, and put on top of the body a one liter process, that the stronger by mass transfers the information from the kidney into the cup, and then you transfer this cup as a drink, or by placing it again in two half on the body to repair the kidney. The time of operation of the man is finished. It's us who have to extend the knowledge. No child should die waiting for a transplant. Now we understand this process. A lot of hospitals will reject this because they don't make the billions anymore. Operations, failure or success, they're paid. This is what they're after. Bone, people who are waiting for bone transplant, for bone marrow, finding a bone marrow, all the drilling, all the cutting, it's over if you understand the process. You're a mother, you're a father, you have a child. Nothing is done, no harm is done if you try it and the child changes. It's our responsibility to take charge because this is us in the space who has to be in charge and to be correct. I open the knowledge so vast that the application of it creates a condition of the change. There are people with a facial damage. Do whatever. You take the side which is not damaged, you make a gans of it, and you place it on the right side, the one that is damaged. A matter of time will replace itself. But you have to understand the process. This is how you will grow organs. You can do the same thing, you have a heart problem. You need to create bonds. When you put the heart over the system, you carry all the information of the perfect valve, and then you carry it to your father, who has a faulty valve. And no harm done if he slips between the two, and then you will see the changes. We are getting to the process that the changes will come by understanding, but not forcing. You have cancer, you know how to eradicate it. You have uh, problems with all sorts of diseases. We call it disease, but these are the changes where the balance has changed. We bring balance to it. If you have family with dialysis, try it, and you will see the change. With the dialysis, people on the dialysis, just put the person between two containers of CO2. That's all they know. They lie on the machine for hours to get their, their blood uh, fixed, to clean up, a few times a week. This does not need that. Slowly brings the balance, the kidney, the liver, any organ. Mr. Kesh, good morning. Yes. Caroline. Yes, Caroline. 
Yes, I was thinking, you know, there are so many people which are suffering from cortisone injections and you found a very good solution for that. Can you bring it, please? Yes, the, um, Caroline knows because she was given overdose of cortisone and a lot of you who have been given cortisone problem with injections of overdose of cortisone for whatever reasons or pains or whatever you had. Cortisone is a material which our body does not absorb but it transfers to a plasmatic condition. You'll find like finger, tip of your finger in cold, suffering heavily in extremities of the body where the, this cortisone deposits itself. You can withdraw cortisone from the body in a very simple way. What you need to do is two ways. When you peel an orange or a lemon, collect the oil of it. It sticks to your hand, it sticks to your body. You can use the gans of the, just the skin, empty very softly that you don't lose any of the oil in a way, and put the skin of the orange on top of the same water. And allow it Wash your hand with it. The plasmatic structure has the capability, or you can just peel the orange and lemon with the hand and rub your fingers with it. The cortisone effectiveness reduces and you extract it slowly, slowly. It takes time. One of the biggest problems we have is overdose of cortisones, which are applied because of trying to remedy a pain, you create another few further pain with it. So, use the oil of lemon, oil of orange, and rub it on your fingers, and then wash it. For a few minutes, transfer this orange oil into a GANS condition, and wash your hand with it you transfer the cortisone out of the body. This is one of the ways you wash poisons out of the body. These, we, we are getting to the position that physically, if we understand it, we do not need any more the extremities of the present new medicine which is enforced on man in past, let's say, 50 years, 100 years. We started today with virus. Uh, we, we've seen it, we have to apply it. The process which, like Paul explained, you bring balance, that's what happens. Golden Age of Cats, is, uh, is he on the line? Is the moderator of the Golden Age of Gans online with us? Mark House, you mean? Yes. I don't see him in the viewers list. Okay. If he is there, he can raise his hand, though, if he's under a different name. We've seen this being reported, that people seeing blood in urine. It means body is getting rid of materials which are not needed. And sometimes it's so heavy that the body rejects it with the blood. This blood, it means it's not needed. It's not a bleeding that you're going to die. We had to wait till the knowledge builds up to the point that you will see. These are the processes that people understand. You do not touch GANs, pure GANs. You never digest pure GANS. You use the GANS of the water or the field of the GANS of the element. I said this before, we're building to the point that you can walk into the machine with cancer, you walk out with the machine with new cancer. The knowledge is reaching to the point that it'll be done.
there are no side effects because you bring the balance. When there is an extra or depo uh, depleting, you get side effects. Because it's a balance, give and take is a plasma, you always gravitational magnetical and when it finds a balance reaches the point of no transfer, you will find the perfect condition. If we understand the application of uh, the technology on the health side, man will survive in the space for thousands of years. This is how the others do. And this is what we try to establish. I received a text from Vivek earlier on, past few days, regarding this disease. And I said, it's time to bring the change. And I said, I take the responsibility for this. I stand any court of law to tell me we can prove it. We have found solution to every disease for the man, every organ replacement, and everything else at no cost. The hospitals will close down. Because Sorry, sorry. What if we don't close the hospitals, but make them as centers for people to collect their cancers? Keep the and nurses sooner in or later, place. Sooner or later, there is no need for hospitals. We find people who care, but the way the hospitals have been promoted as a way of finance to create huge amount of money will not be there. We've seen in the recent past, a large number of the directors of the hospitals resign because of the ethical issues, because they have to operate to create finances for the hospital. This is the problem. At the moment, a huge amount of increase in operations is unnecessary operations just to get money from the insurance companies to pay that the doctor's wages can be paid. There is a very big problem. I explained to you an experience and you will understand. Very recently, past few days, we live by the sea where we are. I was looking and thinking. You know, in olden days, and the new days of it, we call it execution. In olden days, they used to call it the walk the plank. If you had a mutiny, if you had something in the sea you didn't want to handle, you made the man to walk the plank, which is a piece of wood, to jump in the sea, and you go, and the man dies. It's a way of execution. You wash your hand, you don't strangle the guy, you don't shoot the guy, but in a way, you made the decision for the soul of the guy. Where does the soul of the mangoes, which had the fear and went through the fear of the death? Where does the mango, when it stands in front of the firing squad to be killed? Where the mangoes, when we see the situation in different part of the world? Where does the soul of the mango, man, that's a collective, as fish, the dog, the cow you slaughter in millions, and the man you kill by firing a squad or whatever. The soul of this planet is crying for help. The soul of these people adds to the soul of the planet, which is suffering soul. If you bring balance, do we need, would we, or would the change of the structure will change the same thing as the inner structure of the planet to a peaceful planet? Where does the soul go? How do we change the condition? If we give, we have no precautions, there are nothing to damage. But if it's taken, we have to pay the price for it. The color of the soul of this planet is very dark. You need to be outside to see what we see from outside in the universe. 
due to the suffering which has become part of the structure of this planet. For the first time, we have a chance, we have opportunity to change it. And when that structure changes, the opening of the doors starts. We are working in the background with the governments, we are looking at different structures of starting the world peace. We are negotiating in different levels. We see how terrorism has become a way of creating control, and we have seen, we have found the structures within the European governments, or European structure, that other governments promote violence and murder, and all sorts, for there to control what they want to control. Do we need to change the leaderships, or do we need to change the governments, or do we need to change the people as a whole, in that direction? Do we need to elevate the soul of the man? As Paul said, make it a peaceful house, the house of the man is the planet. Do we need to start changing, and get a mixture of what you have as a zinc and copper and the rest, and start using it? One of the biggest problem will be, let's say, you go to a, suit, to a shop, you want a clothes, how are you going to pay for it? Or do we go to the factories and make, make things that we know others need, and one day they use it, because we receive what we need, what we have. I said in my recent talks, communism was the nearest thing to the man's social structure, till the leaders of the communist countries got it, back into themselves, to be more stronger and much richer. Communism is not the answer, but balance of the souls will bring us answer. If you cannot walk away from this, is not theology, is the way which this technology will change the course. Do we go to work to suffer, or do we go to work out of the pleasure that we can help the others? Do we need to work nine to five? or I work when I need, when I like, but I know with me working, brings pleasure to the others, because I receive everything I have. I don't go to the supermarket to pay at the cashier, and the man who stands there is short of money, he cannot have food. The man goes to work with the pleasure, knowing it helps the others. This is how it works in the universe, and we are here to change the condition. I've stood many times behind man in the cashier, where he doesn't carry the money, or something is extra than is in his pocket. It's come from Africa, that's all he was given to survive. And he has to put the pieces of food back, the guy refuses to supply. I always say, I pay. Do we need to pay out of the pocket? Or do we bring the change that the society changes that we don't need the pocket? We are reaching to that point. Do we farm to have money to live? Or do we farm that at the end we know whatever we need, we can have, it will be produced and we there for our comfort? It's against all the ethos of what we been brought up but soon will catch up. Those of you who use this technology for medicine, for application of energy, for application of food, soon you will not go to supermarkets, soon you will not need to go to the hospital. It's there, but doctors have no job. There are no patients. What do they do? Do we put all these doctors on the queue of unemployment? Or we supply they were there when we needed him, that's brought our race to where it is now. There is a need in the structure of the society, and that need will come very fast. The doctors doesn't believe the woman has HIV, no medicine. 
the companies in America and Europe which are making all these HIV medicines have no market. Share stock collapse. Who pays for the pensioners who put the money into the pension policies to pay from benefit of a man with the AIDS in Africa that they can have a comfortable life in Europe. So you see the change hits from the top to bottom. Or do we look after the pensioners in Europe with the pleasure of life? That they do not need to participate in criminal activities of what they call shareholding. You are not aware of what I've started, but I know where I'm going to take the mankind. You can walk to the shop, you can buy, take the most beautiful clothes, you never pay for it because you know you do something else, somewhere else, to make the forces comfortable for the others. Pleasure of serving will become more than pleasure of taking. This is not a dream anymore. This is a reality which will hit us very, very soon. And it's coming into operation very fast. World leaders are signing themselves to it. They ask us to confirm we show, we ask them to confirm, and they deliver. They understand the gravity, and it's for us to deliver it. Walk to a man with the AIDS and give him water and say, I look after you, I'll bring you water every day. You don't need to pay me, I have something at home which can make you to be a father to your child, you don't need to have AIDS. How many have been buried in Africa? How many in the Western world are waiting with uncertainty that when the AIDS will come worse and HIV takes over the whole lot? Now you can go to them. A lot of you have written to me over years, do you have a solution for AIDS? My father, my mother, my son is suffering with it. Yes. You received the answer today. We have had the answer for years, but it would have been a life. Now it's across from Africa to Europe. Many of you, many of you suffer with addiction, drugs, addiction to different injections. Start using CO2 and zinc oxide. Satisfy the emotion. When you see the drug, you vomit. Armand has asked me many times, can you give us a solution for drug addiction? Armand, you got your gift. You look for physical improvement, I look for the change of the soul of the planet. Write it, promote it across the Internet. The governmental forces behind them have blocked us for going open internationally, but to be on the news, because they have no more news to sell. When the man doesn't fight, is there a need for CNN? They report nothing but death and murder and what they've initiated their masters, now they reported to sell more advertising and what they paid the guns to do. Give a cup of zinc oxide with CO2 to the man who fired, and under any name, American army, ISIS, Palestinian Jews. Then you will see the change. You will, they will not understand it, they will walk away from it. If you make it stronger, put it in your cause and let it run, you will see the change. You need a double core, or you need triple core, and then in it add zinc oxide, and for it to change the ethos of the soul of the man, add iodine. But don't forget, iodine will not work if you don't put cobalt in it.
all of you, you're very happy to see a reactor connected together, and you get 70% reduction, in a way, the power generation is irrelevant. Start applying the technology for what is released, not for what you want to copy. We'll give you, we give you all the technology for those who don't know, and the common man does not know how to do it. We produce it, we give it, and as we did this week, we gave last week to our Italians, anything the government needs, they can have from the factory. The response was, what do we do with this? How do we apply it? We don't know. What are you giving us that we don't, we cannot, we don't understand? And now our job is, it's there, you see the result, now we work in the structure to give it to you that is there to use when you need it. Um, Mr. Kesh, there's a document that's come out called Plasmatic First Aid. And I'm wondering if, uh, if you want to have a look at that, maybe, and... Uh... I've seen it. You can release it. Show it, please. Okay. While you're doing this, till you read it, those of you who suffer from neuro damage, and you have pain, phantom pain, you've been in war zone, like Americans or others who've been to the war zones to, in one way or another way to support their ideology. Being wrong or right is not our job. It's wrong on which side and right on which side. Try to use the gans of CO2 for your body. Spray your body with it on regular basis and you'll find out the pain will disappear. You don't need to suffer. Um, when the pain disappears, the deformities created because of it, will disappear too. This is important for a lot of people, even if you've been in an accident, an operation, and you have all sorts of pain. You find CO2 GANs, but sometimes, if it's too strong, certain amount of zinc oxide in it, will alleviate your pain very, very rapidly. And because the pain is not there, you might find the growth of the organ, or, what you have been looking for. Carry on. Okay, so, <clears throat> you see the document here, it's called Plasmatic First Aid, um, and it shows the use of different GANSes for, for different uh, body systems, and how to make GANS, and uh, uh, we have different systems on how to use the GANS water, including spray, um, compress, drink, inhale, bath, stand or lay between, and Who rotate. Who has made this? Um, I where, think, is, where is this put? I think this information may have come from Klaus, is that true? Is Klaus there to... It's close to there, yes. Yes, this comes from me. Um, can you put this as a blueprint on the front page of the Cash Foundation, both FSSI and Spaceship Institute? Yeah, they're still working on it while well, it was a work in progress through this workshop oh. to actually start uh, changing a few things that weren't quite correct and so on. So, but uh, I thought maybe with your help, it might be good to go through it live to correct anything that might need any last-minute changes, and then maybe it could be used as that document. I'll look at this private in time, and then it'll be done straight away. Okay. Yeah, because uh, we got to look what is there and look at uh, in the depth. So this it's not, comes from not the necessarily medical application of the Cash Foundation. Not necessarily official yet, but this is a pre preliminary document, let's say. Yeah, but there is a blue box which has been developed by, and I've seen through the rescue system of the Italian side, a blue box. Oh, the, um, the GANS box. The first aid GANS, the first aid right. kit. I think I saw that from Ella. Uh... Yes, we put these together, pardon? Ella did this. Uh, it was both published uh, in this group for aid to Italy. 
Yeah. We put that with this that you can see you can do it yourself. These are these are the beauty of the sharing knowledge so openly. Well, let us do I do this immediately within the next twenty four or forty eight hours or whatever that we can release as a plasmatic first aid. Uh, this is a beautiful job, uh, Klaus. Thank you very much. Uh, um, this Mr. Kish. Stanley has a picture of those, uh, or Ella has a picture of those boxes. I'm trying to Would you share find, it with us, please? I'm trying to find where they were. Okay, so I'll put that picture. There's three of them all together. Let me get that set up. I have a very extreme thought while you're doing this and you understand. Those of you who have faced amputation of limb or deformities to your limbs, doesn't matter, arm, fingers, foot, whatever, what we're looking for, a simpler version, if you make the gas water of CO2, copper oxide, zinc oxide, calcium oxide and CH3, and in a way, on a regular basis, or you can keep at the end of where the amputation has taken place, this uh, patch, we would like to know if we can restart regeneration of the limb. We've done that with the solid nanoplates. I think the GANS state of the matter or liquid plasma of it should be much more effective to regenerate the limbs. The question is how far down the road has happened, how far has happened, what has happened to it. But in reality this can be done. If you have such a, or you have access to people with such a problem, you won't see it tomorrow, this thing takes months. But um, if you don't have a finger lost or you have a leg which is amputated and you live with uh, prosthesis, put at the end of it a patch or a bag which contains this material. I think I'm correct to say we should see the extension and growth of the limb. I've done it and it works but with the presence of the uh, liquid plasma, I think you'll find a faster growth rate. The problem is, does the duration of the amputation counts or do we regenerate the cells to do? <laughs> Show this and then I'll explain why I think it should work. Carry on, Rick, please. Okay, well, <clears throat> we see the kit here. Um, <clears throat> this is it, it in operation, I guess you might say. And the previous picture, let me just uh, reshare the previous one. This is the internal box of the CO2 GANs uh, making system, but a smaller version. Right, and uh, Ella's point was <clears throat> that this could be made very inexpensively uh, at uh, a few dollars basically with these pieces and that could be a way of educating people um, how to make GANs themselves rather than just giving them GANs or giving them uh, a pain pad or something else like that that in a survival situation people could make their own GANs, make their own um, um, survival um, tools with their their own kit like this. They can learn to make it themselves was her we saw, idea. We saw this box in the original CO2 boxes which we released. Um, this box is very familiar but now it's miniaturized.
is a, a smaller box and a bigger box. Now, using the smaller box to create what you want is more or less the same. It's a very good idea. That's beautiful. We used to put all the accessories of the bigger, uh, what do you call it, um, CO2 kit into this, that when we ship it, and the shipping cost is too much. Maybe this is a solution. I'm sure this is a solution. You can see the me <clears throat> measurements here of uh, roughly 15 centimeters or half a foot, six inches. Um, so that would probably be in a um, shipping size that would be much cheaper from uh, post offices and places like that. Thank you very much for that, uh, Ella and the rest.